Oh god, it's all happening guys, it's all happening. I am just in the process of getting ready. My friend Zena is coming over because we are about to go see Hiatus Coyote tonight. I am so excited. I've wanted to see them for so long and they're just never in the UK. If you guys don't have the Dice app, download it. It's so good. I think it connects to your Spotify and then it kind of like makes suggestions for you. Anyway, so excited. I'm in a bit of a rush. I couldn't find my makeup sponges. It was all a mess. But I think we're gonna be okay. I'm also trying to figure out how to use the washing machine. I think I've put a wash on about four times and tried to put a dryer on about four times and it's just not working. Also, in the <laughs> this specific bathroom, there is the weirdest smell that's been going on for like a couple of hours. Nobody's taken a dump in here. And it is not, it's not really our scent, you know what I'm saying? It's not really our brand. Um, it just smells really weird. If any of you guys have watched the Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> series on Netflix, I'm freaking out a little bit. There's a vent in the bathroom right there. <laughs> freaking out a little bit. Oh my God, it's so bad. Got myself a little inches cider. I don't know if you guys remember this from a recent vlog when we went to Dovestone. Ignore my hair, that still needs fixing. Honestly guys, I cannot tell you how much of a mess I am today. It's an actual joke. I need to pull myself together because I need to experience this experience. Right, I'm gonna go because Zena's like on her way, which gives me about 15, 20 minutes because Manchester's very small. Ew. I'm so excited. Good afternoon guys <laughs> we are just getting ready to head out we're heading down to london this morning no this afternoon today we're gonna go have dinner and we're going to a movie preview which i'm so excited about it's with sky so yeah we are doing that tonight this evening but obviously we're leaving in the afternoon because it takes so long to get to london from manchester <laughs> i wanted to show you guys our outfits because i think we look pretty schnazzy i'm wearing a really old dress that i've had for years it's like a turtleneck long sleeve I think it's from Bershka, but I got it on ASOS. My necklaces are Pandora. My earrings are Pandora. My jacket, I bought it on Depop. Tights ripped by me by accident. I've got my Naked Wolf platform boots on that you guys always ask me about. They're the satin boots, I will link them down below. And my new bag, my Jacobus, which I don't know if I can justify, but I just needed it. They're kind of unintentionally matching, like we do this all the time. <laughs> Legit. Am I supposed to say what I'm wearing? You can if you want. I've got the Cold Wall collab with Dot Mines. Oh my god, those are so cool. Where did you get those from? My girlfriend got them for Christmas. <laughs> I've got the Jaded Man trousers on from ASOS. I just need to show the detail because it's so cool. I can't remember where the belt's from. Zara, maybe. Mm -hmm. Pandora, of course. Whoop, whoop. A mixture of Affleck's Clocks and Colors. Subtle bag. And then Nova Man. Noise! <laughs> it just flowed and it allowed me the opportunity to stretch myself as an artist um, and I hope that you feel connected to the story when you watch it tonight. 
we were on the train back. We just watched a film called Aisha at the Curzon. We also had dinner with the lovely ladies from Sky. But we need to talk about this movie because it was so good. This is not an ad. Like, it comes out in November. Just go watch it. It's super powerful. It's a heavy movie, but it's also just incredible. Also, shout out to my manager guy because he took care of the pitch for us because he's an absolute G. So thank you, guy. We are extremely tired, so we're going to stay a bit. We will see you in the morrow. Morning. No, it's not the morning. I'm lying. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. It is two days later. Yesterday was an absolute write-off. I was not feeling good at all. My lymph nodes, is that what it's called? It feels very swollen and sore. All across, like, my collarbones, my shoulder muscles, my chest, my arms. Achy as fuck. But I'm definitely feeling better than yesterday. One thing that I do want to do is sort this and as much of this out as I can, because quite frankly, it's driving me insane. And if it continues, my mental state will not be okay. <laughs> also, oh my God, this rug, like I told you guys before, this flat definitely was not cleaned properly before we moved in. I started hoovering this today, and before I even got halfway across the rug, my hoover stopped working, and it was completely full, like not even just the compartment, but like all the way up the pipe. It was so disgusting. I feel like whoever lived here before did not hoover it once. It even looks completely different now. So yeah, that was fun. But after hoovering that, I was like, bro, I need to just sort this out. I cannot cope with that. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do today because I want to start living in this flat properly and creating content and stuff. by the way. Sir. How did you even get that? My mum, when she was clearing out the storage place where I used to live, or I think maybe at her office, I think she moved it, I can't remember. She found all these comics that I used to have when I was a kid, they're French, but it's because it's got my name. That's how you spell uh, Natasha in French. And I just thought it was so cool and she brought them all for me, which is so nice. So I'm gonna put them somewhere.
this lighting's not great, is it? How do I get good lighting in here? It's not happening, is it? It's a few hours later. I did nothing today and it's been great. It was so nice to get back in the gym. It's only been about a week, but it feels like I haven't worked out in ages and I really needed it. I'm coming to like kind of like a little cool down rest period where I'm still working out, but it's going to be a little bit lighter just for the next week. So this session, I decided to do like 70% of what I could do and I just did it a lot slower so I still really felt it but uh, I thought I would just take it easy and not do anything and also it's Sunday I feel like I should be allowed to not do anything on Sunday right just wanted to show you a few bits that are going on from Amazon because I'm excited also we're having our first roast in the new flat so I'm super excited um, and you might have noticed I had a really weird septum ring in this morning it was actually a Pandora earring it's not actually a septum ring but my old one I don't know it just got really sore and my nose got really swollen so I was like oh my god I need to take this out because it's just painful so i just had to put that pandora one in to see if the hole was still there even though i've had it pierced probably for like 10 years or more so i don't know why i was even questioning that but i finally got my new one in today and i love it i think i'm gonna change all my jewelry over to silver i just think it pops so much more on my skin tone anyway this i'm really excited about because the last time i tried to order it the order got cancelled no idea why but basically, I shot some content the other day. I went to a coffee shop as part of it. Not a coffee shop, like a cafe, which was amazing. The food was delicious. And I also tried my first ever lavender latte. It shouldn't work, but it does. It was so freaking delicious. So I was like, bro, I have to get Siro de Lavande. My lavender syrup. Maybe it's a French thing, I don't know. But guys, it was so good and I'm so excited to make my own. And I also really want to try a lavender matcha because I feel like it would just be delicious. Oh, other than that, just boring stuff. I got a Soda Stream refill. Soda Stream is life changing. I freaking love it. About to cook the first roast in the new flat. I'm so excited. The kitchen's a bit smaller, so it's going to be a little bit more fiddly, but I don't care. Also, this kitchen low key reminds me of the kitchen in my old flat because of the brown cupboard doors. Not that you can even see what I'm touching right now. <sighs> can you tell that I'm overtired? We are currently watching Aftershock, which is about the Nepal earthquake and how it affected like mountaineers on Mount Everest. It's actually quite intense it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. But yeah, we're going to eat. We're going to scram, aren't we? We're going to scram. He's already scrammed and he didn't even wait for me and I, I made the dinner. <laughs> We've just opened a new park in Manchester. It kind of reminds me of the Olympic Park, but on a smaller scale. It is so freaking nice. And I never see like green spaces here very often, not big ones like this. It is so nice that this is here. I'm so happy and I'm mostly just happy for Bronson, but it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> I've definitely had uh, caffeine too late in the day, so if I'm being weird, I, I think we've both had caffeine a bit too late in the day today. You've had three coffees today. And I've had heart palpitations. That's currently what I'm experiencing. We are going to the cinema! I remember a while ago we were scrolling on TikTok and we saw kind of like a trailer for Smile, and it's finally out, so we're gonna go watch it at the Everyman Cinema, which I didn't realize they had in Manchester. <laughs> we were going somewhere in a cab and we drove past it and I was like, oh my god! So not only are we going to watch a movie that we are really excited to watch, but we're going to watch it, The Everyman. Um, for those of you who are the film. For those of you who For those of you guys that don't know what The Everyman is, it's basically a cinema where you can have like dinner. They've got like pizza and picky bits and burgers and stuff. And you can have dinner whilst you watch a movie and like wine and all that good stuff. So yeah, so excited. First horror movie in the cinema of the season. And we're very excited.
Oh, he's got food. Why do I look so strange and round this morning? It's not the morning. I keep saying it's the morning when it's not. I'm sorry. Cinema last night was an experience. It was a great one. We ate a lot last night at the cinema. I feel like we got like a food high and it was a whole experience. I didn't drink any alcohol either, so we can't even say it was anything to do with that, all right? But um, yeah, the movie was good. I, at first I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if it was good because all horror movies are like the same and have a rushed ending. But and there was like a kind of plot twisty thing at the end and it was, it was pretty good. So if you like horror movies and you're looking for one that is like a bit different and it's like decent because they are few and far between then I would recommend watching Smile. It was pretty good, pretty good. We were like pretty tense the whole time. I definitely jumped a few times and I didn't jump that much. But yeah, we came out of the cinema and nothing felt real. <laughs> It was so weird. We walked home as well and it was just like the weirdest walk home I think I've ever had. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because um, it's pretty long already and I feel like I'm ready to start a new one. We're about to go into town. If you made it this far, please be sure to comment. What should we comment? I guess like the moving box emoji, a box emoji, package emoji. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to have you here. Why am I being so weird? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Until next time, bye.